Uh, we're here at the MBA offices and one of the things that MBA Orlando uh, sponsors is the Come Out With Pride event uh, that, that takes place party every year. Like Yoga, yes. Yeah, that little party. And you have the unique uh, distinction as the person who's in charge of all that. Yes, unique. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, I know it's a lot of work getting this set up for, uh, for Orlando, but uh, as you know, the name of this website is Pride Counts. And what I'd like to know is when you think about the Come Out With Pride event uh, that occurs every year here in Orlando, what impact, if any, do you think that has on the LGBTQ community and their ability to live with pride and authenticity here in Orlando? Well, I think actually it has an impact on the entire community, most importantly, obviously, LGBTQ. Uh, one of the reasons is because now they can come and actually celebrate for some of them who are still in the closet. That is the one day a year where they can actually live authentically. They can come to the park, feel comfortable, they're surrounded by people who who love them, people of the same lifestyle, um, but even more importantly, it actually gives a window to the rest of Orlando, to the rest of the community, since 25% of, of our attendees are actually straight allies. Uh, it gives them the window, a window on our community and who we are, and mm -hmm. who we are is no different than who they are. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it really accomplishes quite a lot um, that day, and this is why it's been growing at a rate of about fifteen to twenty thousand participants every year. Tell me about last year. You know, at, at Come Out with Pride, how would you describe the mood and the atmosphere at Come Out with Pride last year? Oh, it's it's a mood of fun, of entertainment, but most importantly, you can feel the pride. Mm -hmm. You can really feel the pride coming out of everyone. Um, and, I, I don't know really how to explain this, but again, I think it's just you know having all of the same individuals of the same community, but yes, yet with such diverse background and diverse you know uh, careers or diverse lives, to just gather around and see how how much love there is mm -hmm. in there. Um, it's always been a, a mood of, of really a fun, a great atmosphere, fun, celebration, especially during the parade um, where everybody is really uh, enjoying you know, a, a good time and also um, um, a way to, to celebrate their pride and who they are. Again, once a year for some of them, year round for others. Uh, for some of them it means that you know, uh, they're going to be a little more comfortable in the mm -hmm. days and the weeks after. For others it gives them some, you know, something to think about. As you think about the coming uh, Come Out With Pride celebration in Orlando, Every night. <laughs> what, yeah, what are you excited about uh, in this coming year? Um, actually, this year we're celebrating a world of pride. So uh, we're bringing to Orlando a lot of other pride culture. As you know, the world is, is as diverse as our community itself. Uh, and everybody has ways to celebrate differently. So I'm excited by the fact that now we're really showing Orlando's gay community um, you know, and uh, uh, opening a window on other Pride events and what mm -hmm. they're, they're going through. Mm -hmm. I, I can't say that our Pride celebration here in Orlando has really gone through the, tr the struggles that Mosca Moscow or Prague or Budapest are going through. And when you hear those, those stories of what they have to do in order to just have a celebration, uh, it is heartbreaking, but at the same time I want to make sure that we bring it back here in Orlando and show people a see. You know, see where we've gone and what we've done at night's time to help others. That is the one thing that I'm really excited about. The other thing is the um, this is going to be the first Pride event after the ADT was repealed, mm -hmm. and this year we're going to do a balloon release around the lake. Um, you know, um, remembering all of the fallen soldiers, but not just LGBTQ, all of the fallen soldiers. I'm extremely excited about that one little piece. And I'm just going to comment that when you say DADT, you're talking about don't ask, don't, don't tell. Ask, don't tell. Correct. Yeah. And there are a number of corporate sponsors for Come Out with Pride. And I'm curious, you know, when you think about those corporate sponsorships, what impact does that have on LGBTQ uh, people being able to live with greater pride and authenticity? Well, it does two things. For example, this year we're presented, actually presented by Macy's. This is the first time in its seven years of existence that Orlando Pride is actually presented by an organization or corporation that is not LGBTQ. Uh, in previous years, it's been watermarked mostly. So we're extremely excited to see that now straight allies are jumping on board, um, celebrating or helping us celebrate this, this very important moment of our lives. So what it does is that on the LGBT community, it shows them that there's hope, that there's um, organizations that they do business with on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting GAP this year. Mm -hmm. Nobody would have ever thought that GAP would actually be coming on board. Uh, we're getting a lot of other corporate sponsors that were not here last year. Grand, uh, Hilton Grand Vacations, TD Bank, uh, MNI Bank, all of those sponsors are people that people see on a daily basis. Um, they see their signs, they see their advertising, 
uh, they, they see their brand and they're always wondering is, is this corporation give friendly are they supporting me well it, it gives us it gives them um, the, the feeling that they're becoming more and more supported by um, mainstream corporate America as well as you know any individuals you know out there and so what's the benefit to those organizations those organizations are getting tons of benefits I mean on, on top of, of being basically uh, presented to about a hundred thousand people that were expected this year uh, through logo exposures promotion and so forth they do get to attend as well so they do get a vendor uh, a vendor booth over there at pride they do get a parade entry some of them do get um, um, advertising in a wonderful pride guide which comes out 30 days prior to the event um, uh, some of them on the higher levels get to be um, on our TV ads on our commercials that are going to be airing in August and September on most of the local Bright House networks, uh, including you know large stations like Logo, Bravo, FX, and so forth. So it is um, it is telling the people the I think I think the impact for them or the um, the reward for them is more likely down the road maybe uh, an increase in, in, in business because it is very well known that the LGBT community likes to do business with those who support them. Uh, but most importantly, and I think I've, I've, I've heard that quite a few times from sponsors, it really gives them a, a, a different view or a new view of what our community is about. Um, especially when the corporation is sending some of their employees and some of their representatives that may not have been exposed to LGBT lifestyle. Now they spend the whole day with us and they come back with, hey, you know what, this community is no different than anyone else. Mm -hmm. um, and it's about changing heart and mind one at a time. Um, and, and the bigger the corporation, uh, the more exposure we get, the more exposure they get, and I think the faster our message will spread. Well, as you know, the, the uh, name of this website is Pride Counts, yes. and I like to conclude every interview with, uh, with you finishing a sentence for me. And that sentence is, <laughs> Pride Counts because... Pride Counts because it's important to live an authentic life and being happy. That's why Pride Counts.